good morning students hope you understood my last video again i have come in front of you with the another topics of chapter 1 so let us let's start and the topic is explosion okay yesterday we discussed about the topics of dispersal of seeds so the last uh, uh, topic is explosion now how the explosion help in dispersing of seed we will help uh, see the with the help of this figure when the fruits like peas they dry they explode like this and seeds are scattered okay when they dry they burst open and they explode and these force of explosion this force the force is coming out this these force of explosion it helps the seeds to scatter and they are moving from one place to another okay so just now we have seen that uh, um, seeds can grow into a plant but another question is that only a plant can come from the seed no it's not true because some of the plants are coming different different parts of the plant like i have here sweet potato and beetroot okay so these are grown by the underground stem by which they grown they grown by the underground stem see the pointed area over here and these are when you will grow into a soil when you will plant it into a soil they will grow underground stem and after that the sweet potato and this beet root they will come underground so these were the examples of underground stem okay now another example is here that is of potato you must have seen the potato okay you must have seen the potato every day you eat potato because every uh, children is fond of potato i think but you should not eat a lot of potato so when you notice this potato you can see over here there are so many uh, tiny tiny dots are here spots are here okay and these tiny dots are called an eye what is it called it is called an eye okay these are the eyes of the potato when you will cut it by the eye okay so in this potato uh, potato you can see so many eyes are over here so every eye will grow into a bud okay every eye will grow into a bud and every bud will grow into a plant you can see over here a bud is there okay this is the bud and it will grow into a plant and see the eyes over here and in this eye if you will uh, plant it into the soil it will grow into a bud and after that this bud will grow into a plant so these were the examples of plants by which different different types of uh, different different parts of plants have grown okay now another example is also onion and gingers they are also uh, grown by the underground stems and you can see the different different types of examples in your kitchen also and now you are you all are staying at your home and you can observe your kitchen materials whatever is coming from the plant whatever is coming from the animals okay so make a list that which type of food are coming are getting you from the plants and which type of food are getting you from the animals make a list it will be beneficial for you now there are some oral questions has given in your book the first question is and these were choose the correct answer okay so the first question is the development of a seed into a seedling is called hibernation budding or germination okay so the options are hibernation budding and germination what will be the answer you write in your copy the second question is air options these are the options air moisture seed water and warmth are necessary for germination of seed okay what are the things which is necessary for the germination of seed and the options were air moisture and seed okay this is the second question you write in your copy now the third question is seeds of cotton are dispersed by seeds of cotton okay in the first well uh, last video i told you about the cotton seeds these were very light because they have hairy like structure so seeds of cotton are dispersed by water wind or explosion 
what were the options water wind and explosions okay write in copy now the last question is some plants like rose grows from root leaf stem cuttings some plants like rose from root leaf and stem cuttings so these were the oral questions that you have to done at your home now our next uh, topic is crops and vegetables okay now the first question is what is a crop the crop is when the plants of one kind when the plants of one kind are grown in a particular area or region is called crop okay means only one kind of a plant it will be grow on a particular area then it will be called crop now there are two types of crops first is rabi crop and the second one is kharif crop and you must have seen many type of vegetables or fruits are coming at your home in uh, mostly in summer season only and some of them are come mostly in winter season so on the basis of winter season and summer season they are classified into rabi crops and some uh, rabi crops and kharif crops so now the question is what are the rabi crops and what are the kharif crops so the rabi crops when the crops are grown from november to april are they are called rabi crops okay november to april are called rabi crops and the examples of rabi crops are wheat and gram now the next one is kharif crops kharif crops are also called monsoon crops okay they are also called they are also known as monsoon crops and they are grown from june to october from june to october are called kharif crops and from november to april are called rabi crops now the examples of kharif crops are rice maize jowar bajra they all are the kharif crops okay so how many types of crops there are two types rabi crops or winter crops and the second one is kharif crops or monsoon uh, monsoon crops rabi crops are grown from november to april and kharif crops are grown from june to october now examples of rabi crops are wheat and gram and kharif crops examples are uh, uh, rice bajra maize etc etc now uh, vegetables like uh, cabbage cauliflower they are mostly grown in winter season and vegetables like brinjal pumpkin and fruits like watermelon these are grown in uh, only in summer season now these were the types of crops and vegetables which are grown separately in winter season and separately in summer season now they need different types of soil also you must have read about different types of soil in your previous classes like uh, clay soil black soil sandy soil so different different crops are suitable for different different type of soil now rice and jute crop are grown they grow well in sand uh, sorry not in sandy soil in clay soil okay clay soil because they are very moist type of soil and wheat and uh, gram they are grown well in uh, sandy soil and they are mostly found in punjab and uttar pradesh now jowar and bajra they are fully grown they are well grown in rajasthan area because in rajasthan area they have sandy type of soils uh tea plants they are grown well in uh, hilly areas and uh, cotton they are suitable only for black soil okay so different different you have seen just now that different different types of crops are grown in different different types of soil our next topic is agriculture now what is an agriculture agriculture is the practice of growing crops on a large scale of area what is an agriculture agriculture is an practice of growing crops on a large scale of area why on a large scale because we have a very much population and for much population we have to grow on a large uh, area of uh, crops so that everybody can and they can get sufficient amount of food now manure is also added to the soil to increase to increase the production of a crop right 
and the fertilizers like urea, so, uh, sulfur phosphate, ammonium sulfate and nitrate they are added to this one and they increase the production of the crops. Now the overuse of fertilizers is also harmful for the agriculture for our crops because they are normally uh, they are based on chemicals only they are chemical fertilizers only so we should not overuse the uh, chemical fertilizers now for a good and healthy crop what should what are the conditions that we have to do that we should do the first one is use healthy and ripe seeds what we should use we should use healthy one healthy seed and ripe seed okay the second one is prepare the soil properly. We have to prepare the soil. Means we have to uh, loosen the soil properly. So that air can go inside the soil and our crops can be grow very well. And the third one is add manure or fertilizers to the soil. We should use normally natural fertilizers okay, and manures to the soil. Third one is, fourth one is use insecticides and pesticides. Because normally when the crops are starting to grow, starting growing, the, the insects are also coming out and they can destroy our crops. So it is necessary to use insecticides and pesticides but it, so, uh, it should not be used very much. Means in a large quantity. We should uh, uh, use in a less quantity because it can harm our crops also. Okay. Now, how can we protect our crops and the storage of seeds? Now, our crops are fully, our seeds are fully grown into the soil. Now, our crop will be grow. So, how can we protect our seeds? So, the first topic is grazing animals like cows and goats. We need to protect from grazing animals like cows and goats. Pests such as grasshoppers and caterpillars okay and bigger animals can also be kept away by proper fencing now i'm explaining you that what should we need to protect our crops first of all we have to do that you can see the grazing animals like cows goats sheep uh, sheep and uh, cats also they can damage our crops so we should protect from them the second one is pests uh, pests such as locters grasshoppers and caterpillars they can also damage our crops so we should uh, uh, we should spray the pesticides or insecticides on the crops the third one is bigger animals bigger animals can also damage our crops so they can be kept away by the proper fencing so the if this is a crop area this is our uh, this is our field so we should do the proper fencing over the around the our field so the bigger animals like cows uh, buffaloes they can be kept away from the our crops so these were the ways by which we can protect our crops we can keep away our uh, bigger animals or uh, small animals and we can protect our crops so our chapter has finished now hope you have understood if you have any doubts regarding this chapter you can ask it in comment box till that stay safe stay at your home and follow the guidelines of government